Hello, my friends. Welcome again. So here I am in the our application in the countries. We work with countries, state, department, and city, and also with the users. And now it's time to work with the employee management. But uh, with employee, we need to work with Vue.js. Okay, so here we have implement Vue.js on employee management only. And we have CRUD and search features. So here we have employee management. It display list of employees with search and filter and create, update and delete employees. Okay, for that I have opened the, our terminal and first of all I'm going to create a new controller for the employee controller and I'm going to make inside the API directory and call it employee controller resource okay and after that we need to go to the uh, web okay and here we need to register a new road i'm going to register here down there because it's going we need to register in the end of the file and that's because we need to add road get and we add any here and function and we I'm going to return a view that view we don't have I'm going to create in a minute view uh, I'm going to call it employees dot index Okay, and here we, we need to add where the any is going to match anything. For that we add in the end. And add the asterisk here. So any, if I put anything here in the dashboard, is going to match anything here, okay? Uh, save. So if I, if for example, we need employees and, and it's going to, yeah, we return employee index for that, it's not going to, it's not fine. Oh, you see here? So this any is matching anything here. If I put uh, uh, just employee and it's the same thing anything we added here now but if I uh, add users you see we go to the users because the users is before the this route for that we add in the end the route here okay so we need to create this employee index and go to the views new folder employees a new file index index.blade.php okay and i'm going what we have in the countries just copy all and paste it here but i'm going to remove this and now here we need to add a div with id up and close that and this is because in the js up js we uh, create a const up of the new view with the uh, element id up okay and here we have a register in global component example component this is common with uh, with Vue.js by default when we install Vue.js. So if I copy this and come here and add it, add it here and save, 
and now uh, we need one more thing if i go to the main blade and when we have the employee management change this to go to employees save and refresh here now we have employees here and we don't display anything and we can see why we don't display anything here because i add the example component in the id of app we don't have any error and yeah now we have example component here and i have an example component and also we have all the other things uh, now we need to work with some components i'm going to create a new folder here employees and a new file for the index.view another one create.view and another one for the edit.view okay okay now we need to install the view router so if i open this and npm install uh, view router okay it's going to install the view router and we are going to see here we have the axios and now it's going to install the view router here okay and with that we need to go to the uh, js app js here and import view router from view router okay and view use view router okay and we need to create our routes here so i'm going to create new file routes.js and here uh, export const routes and for now i'm going to leave the an empty array save and here we need to import that so import roads from uh, roads okay and now here uh, i'm going to remove this one okay and here i'm going to create a const of const router and it's going to be new view router and here i'm sorry an object with a mod yeah mod is going to be history and roads is going to be our roads we imported okay and now here we can add the road router the router here and if i save now here uh, when we have the roads i'm going to create our roads here and 
first is going to be path is the same so or I'm going to add the employees and I'm going to give a name employee employees index and uh, component the component is we need to import that component first so import uh, index or employee index employee index from from a uh, components employees and index okay uh, Think, yeah and index and here we can add the employee index okay and the same thing copy this one paste and paste again and here we have path employees create and here we have the we need to copy copy this one and paste employee create an employee edit here and change this to create and change this to edit okay and here employee create and this one employee create and here also edit and uh, change this one to edit as well uh, we need to add the ID of the employees here so I'm going to add the ID like this and uh, if I save now and we not need to go to the index view here I'm going to add a new view here and I'm going to copy what we have in the countries index what we have in the row and here copy this one and paste it inside the div because we need one row to div and here change this to be employees uh, we don't need the blade directives here so we remove all the blade directives we need uh, okay okay remove what blade directives we have here because it's not going to render okay and this one and I think we are okay if I save and open the terminal and run the npm run watch and in the index employee index so inside the employees index uh, I'm going to remove this example and in the app.js when we have the example I'm going to change this to uh, employees index and also the components is going to be comp 
set the components employees and index okay save and we have a, if i go not to the browser and the refresh and if you why is this because i don't we need to add here a employees index save and refresh and we have this one we don't have any error in the console we have this because we don't hide with with uh, Vue.js this alert success and we have what we have in the country if I open the table plus okay open the table plus here uh, employees and inside the employees we have last name first name middle name address department id country id okay birth date and date hired so i'm going to display the last name and the first name also the department also the address and department id and that it or we can display all but for now i'm going to display here so here where we have the id and first name here last name uh, copy and paste and what i said uh, last name address and department address and uh, department here okay and if I save and go here uh, refresh and yeah, we have first name, last name, address, department, and we have the manage here. And we display this in the middle because here we have that one more, two more. Okay, save and refresh now. And yeah, we have this in the end. Okay, well, that's it for this video, my friends. In the next video, we are going to create, edit, and uh, delete employees. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. All the best.